Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Math 20-3, Chapter 1, Section 1, Part 1, Rise Over Run. Now, take a look at your diagrams. Now, the length of the red lines is the same in both diagrams. Imagine that each of these diagrams is a graph. Now, what would happen if you roll the marble down the first one? What would happen if you roll the marble down the second? Let me know. Well, think about it for a minute. If we look at this one, then I'm arbitrarily going to go into one. You roll the marble down, it's going to go faster. Then this one is going to go into two, which is going to be slower. And now my question is why? Well, I always talked about rise over run. Technical term here is a steeper. This is a steeper. Or more. I shouldn't say this should be steeper, this should be more steep. Less than more steep. Okay? Now, what we're talking about here is slope. Now, what you observe is called the slope of a line. The slope represents the steepness of a straight line and how slanted it is. The slope is not related to the length of the line, as you saw in the last example. It has to do, so it has to do with the ratio between the height and the distance of the rise and the run. Now, for those of you at home without the handout, there are ID blanks in there. If you fill in the you fill in blanks to go along, there is a slope, length, and ratio. I will try to note those on the uh, video so that you can track them out. If not, pay attention and figure out what the words you can make Right? It's slope. Slope represents the steepness of a straight line or how slanted it is. Slope is not related to the length of the line, as we saw in the last example. It has to do with the ratio between the height and the distance or the rise and the run. Now, there is a simple, calcula simple formula for slope. Slope. You change in vertical distance divided by change in horizontal distance, which is rise over run. Now, we can use the formula to find out the steepness of a length. Now, before we get too far in, I want to remind you sorry, I forgot to mention your formula sheet. Now, you were issued one in class, so it's going to use it because these are all the formulas you need. Now, go to the second page. So slope is rise over run. That's what we're talking about today. It's the only formula that we're going to use today. Now, I want you to also note there's several different ways to um, that this formula may be worded. A lot of people, like in grade 10, will do M. Rise over run. Because remember back to grade 10, they tried to use M instead of slope. I might use that, but I'll never try to use the first word. Slope equals rise over run. Now, other people to find a change in vertical distance or a change in horizontal distance. That's a fancy way of saying rise over run. If you want to be real fancy, change in vertical distance. A little triangle means change in. Okay? So remember those. They're on your formula sheet. Actually, you don't have to remember those because they're on your formula sheet. So remember to bring your formula sheet. Now, getting back to the notes. You can use the formula to find out the steepness of this ramp. Is it a slightly ramp? Now, if it is one meter by three meters, I want you to notice that it went up and down. That's the rise. And going across the three meters is the run. So, the vertical distance is one meter, and the horizontal distance is three meters. In other words, the rise is one, and the run is three. The formula says that the slope is rise over run. So we plug that in. So that's in one meter, that's two meters. So the slope of the ramp is equal to one two. One third. Notice the units cancel out because they're the same. Now, give me a minute, a moment to think about this, and I'm going to find out a couple of things. Now, the first thing, one thing you should know, you grab your calculator, 
adorned by the Holy Spirit. It should go like that seven or eight devil says, I'm getting right. I will write that out as your point of creating him. Or sometimes, or sorry, more often I will go to two devil says. Okay, I'm not getting silly this is not not so just more than me. Okay? So be careful about that. I can go point three, the little line about me, point three is healing. I go point three three three, this is honestly quote now. Now, I also want you to note the rising line can both be positive and negative. Now, rise in a downward direction is negative. It goes down to negative. A running left is also negative. Now, that's a little confusing definition. I want you to remember the slope tree, positive slope. You would be going up, positive. You'd be going down, also negative. If you're going straight across, that's zero slope. And in the middle left, we'll talk about undefined, going straight up and down. Technically, it doesn't exist, but this is a really fun that way. So remember that positive slope is going up, negative slope is going down, your slope is going straight across, but undefined slope is straight up and down. Now, here I want you guys to find the slope. I'll do the first one, then we'll work on, I'll do the first one with you. Second one will help, and then the next page is a few more, you work on your own. So, this one here, what are the slopes? Well, the first one, going from A to B, here's our rise going up. Now that is three. Then we have our run going across. It's also three. This one's calling plus three out of ten. The slope. for a moment, so I'm going to bring this across. But my rise is 3, and my 1 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay? Now, I'll help you with the second one. Now, the reason I'm helping you with the second one is a little bit tricky. My rise is here. So what's my rise? Well, most of you are going to say four, but that's not quite right. What's going on here? I'm going down, so that's minus four. Okay. And then my run is plus two. So, slope. This is rise over run. So, always, always, always let us find. I don't care, let us find. Slope equals rise over run. In this instance, that is minus 4 over 2, which simplifies to minus 2. And remember the negative slope? Excuse me, it's going down. Is my negative slope going down? So I think that's negative 2. Now, draw it to that. Let's go on to the next question. If you're having trouble, go back and watch the video again. Because now we're going to do the slopes of these three lines. The red one, AB, the green one, CD, and the blue one, EF. Now, pause the recording, we'll come back and we'll compare them, okay? Now, for the red one, AB, I got a rise of 6 and 1 of 5, which gives me a slope of 6 fifths or 1.2. Now, both are correct. I, however, I would ask you to leave the subtraction for simple thought. With some calculations, it should be easy to use the subtraction. If you really want to put it as 1.2, that's fine. The subtraction factor, I'm sorry, Mr. Calculator will do that for you. Okay? Now, if we're going to pause this, we'll do, let's do B, B, sorry, who was that? Let's get the green one, CD, and EF. So EF is a CD, so let's do the track. I make here the green line, CD. I get a rise of minus 8 because it's going down 8 units. And the run is 3 going across 3. So this is minus 8 thirds. Now, if you want to put it as a decimal, minus 2.667, I'm fine with that. I prefer a fraction, but I'm not going to argue with you. And finally, EF, the sneaky one, note the rise is 0. Not as pancake, 
in front of three. Zero divided by three is zero. This is one of those zero slope numbers. Okay? Now, that's it for the first part. I'm going to pause the recording here. You guys review this, and when you're ready, we'll go on to the next part. Okay?